What's going on, everybody? This is Elder Jacoby Owens coming to you Tuesday, November 3rd for Testimony Tuesday. Right, now, the testimony I want to share today is about how when God leads you to do something, uh, it can often lead to an uncomfortable situation. You know, um, there's a brother of mine who the Lord led to pursue a certain career field in life, right? And to obtain this certain career field, to uh, be accepted into it, to to be able to be hired for this certain career field, he had to do one of two things. But one of the things that he had to do um, is partake in another line of work until a certain time period had been fulfilled. And then he would be able to make that transfer over to the career field that God had led him to do. All right. Um, now, in this career field, it's a lot of corruption. It's a lot of uh, uh, falsifying documents. There's a lot of uh, mistreating people. You know, as far as the his his partners are concerned, his comrades and everything. And uh, everyone who's trained him, everyone who's talked to him, is telling him he has to do things a particular way, which is not by the book. And um, so it's kind of throwing him for a loop. And he's he's uh, he's sticking to his guns, you know. But at the same time, he's still having some struggles with it because he, uh, you know, the book is saying one thing and his comrades are telling him another thing. Even the people over him are telling him to do something else, but it's not sitting right with him because he is a follower of Jesus Christ. And um, interesting, interestingly enough, I have another brother who's not even a follower of Jesus Christ who was in that particular field as well two complete different states, but was going through the same thing. You know, there was a whole line of corruption and um, it's either you're with them or you're against them, the people that are doing the corruption. And uh, after a certain amount of time, he had to leave that field because um, eventually if, if they, if he didn't conform, they were going to start coming after him. So I was able to uh, facilitate the two of them talking to each other and uh, just, it just, uh, venting the grievances and the the other one who had done it before my current brother was going through it he um was able to give him tips and telling him to stick by the book and you know telling him ways to do his job effectively without having to cross the line like everybody's trying to tell him to cross the line you know so um so far last time we talked uh sometime last week i believe he was sticking to his guns and, you know, and, and I thank God for it because, look, everything that God tells us to do is not going to be a cakewalk. You know, he might stick us into a hostile environment. You know, he might stick us into a uh, situation that is not necessarily compromising, but it's a trying situation. You know what I mean? But understanding who we are in Jesus, knowing that he'll give us, he won't give us any more that we can bear we know that we'll be able to handle it. You know, we know that trusting in him, walking in him, we will be able to get through whatever is laid before us. Though it'll be a struggle, you know what I mean? Being the only one in your environment willing to do the right thing, it's a struggle. You know, and, and a lot of us should know that, you know, who've been in the work field, who's just been out in the world. We know that it's a struggle because it's like, wow, am I really the only one that has the mindset to please God. Am I really the only one? And you know, and the enemy will try to use that to make to to weaken your faith, to to pull you off of holy ground. Because heck, if, if everybody else is doing it, it's easy to say, well, why can't I do it? If everybody else is uh uh cheating in this way, why can't I cheat in this way? If everybody else is filling their pockets through doing this, why can't I fill my pockets through doing this? You know, and this is how the enemy gets a little knife in there. And then when we start to uh we start to adhere to the things that are going on around us is when he starts to twist it. You know, and he'll take it back out and put it in again. You know, because this is all spiritual warfare. You know what I mean? Being able to walk that straight and narrow path opposed to the, the the wide path that's full of wickedness. You know, it's all spiritual warfare. So basically, I thank the Lord that 
my brother has been able to hold his gun so far. I thank the Lord that he's been able to talk to somebody else, though they're in different states, who's been able to walk and do the right thing and get the job done effectively. And, you know, I just continue to pray that he's able to continue in this path for the time that he has to be in this path because God knows what he's doing even if it's an uncomfortable situation or it's a, a rough situation, a hard situation, even a harsh situation. God knows what he's doing. He knows He knows what he needs to work out of me, you, anybody around us, anybody who's one of his own. You know, he will do what is necessary to bring us up day by day because we're always growing. We're always obtaining righteousness and enlightenment. He's always doing things to Bring us up to the next level. So I just thank the Lord for that testimony. And if you are one of these people that are, feel like you're the only one out there, like you feel like I'm the only one that I can reach out and touch that uh, is, is, is obeying the Lord, the only one who's walking this walk in certain areas of our life, hold strong because we won't have to struggle forever. We just have to get through what we're getting through and eventually... Eternity's right around the corner. It may come sooner for me, may come sooner for you, but it's right around the corner. Prayerfully, this testimony has been a blessing to you as it has been a blessing to me. Remember, Monday's the Monday prayer. Tuesday's testimony Tuesday. Wednesday's a quick word on Wednesday where I'll share a nugget, something the Lord's laid on my heart. It's not a full Bible study, but it's just something to get your gears turned and maybe get you to have a Bible study of your own. All right? Until next time, be blessed.